Good evening guys and welcome to a session how to make very nice Panasonic bread maker bread and tonight I will show you a simple recipe how you make very nice white type of um, uh, bread in the Panasonic bread maker because many people come to our place and they enjoy the bread and they say this is the best bread oh my god this is the, the worthing bread uh, how do you make it I've got the machine but it doesn't come out the same and I don't know I mean it's very simple but I thought let me make small video so I can show you what I'm actually doing and so I'll show you how I make this white bread I mean I personally don't normally eat white bread but people love it for some reason most people who come they want more they usually the white bread usually goes more than the wholemeal one and so the main thing which I would think how you make nice bread is actually the flour I don't personally buy flour from supermarkets because I find the mass production um, flour is usually it has all kinds of additives and you know all kinds of things vitamin C and anti-caking agents and I, I have no idea why they add but, but that's what usually in the, the shop um, flour so I try to source my flour from um, like mills uh, one, one of the places where I'm buying is a Shipton mill in UK but I think in every country you will get some nice small uh, mills where they make flour and and you can get very nice flour so any white flour will do the job and I try to buy different ones tonight we'll make it with organic ciabatta flour so I think it's from Italy they make some sort of white type ciabatta breads in Italy um, you can just use traditional white or any unbleached that's why I'm trying to source the, the flour from these small mills because I want the bread to be as natural as possible without any sort of uh, mixes in and any bleach or chemicals uh, any treatments or etc so here we are we have the Panasonic bread tin and if you are going to buy a bread maker do not buy any other bread maker than Panasonic. I've tried many in my lifetime and I tell you the best bread maker bread comes out of the Panasonic bread machines and there is a reason I think they they are the ones who invented the, the bread maker and <clears throat> I, I don't buy anything else apart from Panasonic and the machines I've got they've been going for many years now but the key ingredient is actually to actually I'm quite precise I really like things to be precise like a Swiss guy I'm not from Switzerland but I like you know accuracy and so I find maybe that's also the reason why the bread comes out nice if you put it all as per the accurate um, measurements plus there is also something probably uh, the mental aspect because if you make even just putting the ingredients inside the bread tin if you are in a very nice happy peaceful state of mind I think that also gives an intent and, and it affects how the bread turns out all right let's start it so the main ingredient the first not the main the first ingredient is the instant yeast so in this recipe I put one teaspoon of instant yeast and um, you probably can get any this is Allison's uh, bread yeast uh, I know in Latvia I used to buy this French Saf Instant which uh, I just got recently and uh, now with all this uh, coronavirus crazy crisis you know there is a, a difficulty actually to buy uh, a, f a different sort of uh, yeast now and so I couldn't find these small packs so I got this uh, a big pack 500 grams but I, I will need to find out how to actually preserve it because if you keep um, if you keep it um, I'll do it <clears throat> if you keep it um, uh, in a 
a big pack open in the fridge it will go actually off and you, you won't be able to make nice bread after a while so that's why the best thing is if you make it from small packs and you clip it with the with a clip and keep it in the fridge then the yeast will always be fresh because you you will make bread you know once in a few days so so that's the first ingredient so we'll put this inside the bread tin and the second ingredient will be the the flour so you need digital scales yeah so without digital scales some people use cups and i don't think you can actually measure for the bread maker a proper quantity of uh, flour with just uh, cups so the recipe i use is the secret recipe although it's in the bread maker book but it's actually just 400 grams of white bread flour and as I said today we are having this uh, organic ciabatta flour so we'll put 400 grams all right so 411 grams I mean normally I put sort of 405 but it doesn't matter you know few grams uh, it's uh, just to make the bread nicer and then the next thing will be uh, some Himalayan pink salt so I put one teaspoon and maybe one quarter so that's goes inside then again you can put some sweetener you can put a little bit of agave syrup I just usually just use some brown brown demerara sugar just a little bit maybe sort of um, sort of half a tablespoon maybe half a tablespoon three quarters of uh, demerara sugar and then in bread maker bread machine uh, breads I usually do put a little bit of oil you can make theoretically without oil but uh, I find it comes out a bit like a, a rubber so I use nowadays lately I've been using this organic soya oil but you can use any oil I mean sunflower oil coconut oil whatever so uh, oil I put quite precisely I put 20 grams in this recipe All right went 24 so 24 grams uh, but roughly 20 grams of oil and then filtered water so the water quantity will be 300 grams okie dokie so here we are that's all it is and let's go and pop it inside the bread maker put the power on and so the program which I'm using is usually the the French program that's the longest cycle which is uh, number eight on this machine which is the SD2501 I've got some other machines which are all the models SD256 or SD254 I think they've got the French cycle written as a French cycle but you will find on any bread maker it will have the French cycle which is the six hour cycle and, and that's I, I find one of the key ingredients actually if you make any bread which I will show you another res uh, recipe with wholemeal bread if you make in this longest cycle the bread gets processed, the yeast gets processed the most so actually the bread comes really really nice and uh, as I say uh, everyone loves this bread and so I use the timer so I can go and have nice rest and tomorrow morning I take the bread out maybe you know one hour one and a half hours before breakfast and then we can have nice fresh bread with nice cup of latte even with this all locked down you just enjoy life so uh, we'll use the timer so uh, it's 9 30 and I want it to be ready at 6 20 so it will be 8 hours and 15 minutes all right 
and start. All right, so tomorrow at 6.20 our bread will be ready. We'll take it out together and uh, then when it's cool we'll cut it and we'll taste it with a nice cup of latte. All right, good night and see you tomorrow. Cheers! Okay, so our French Italian combined bread, so let's open. Yes, here is the baby. Let's take some glove before we burn ourselves. And here we are. Here we are. Oh, nice bread. Another beauty with the Panasonic bread maker, I'll tell you, is that the blade inside normally doesn't stay in the bread, but the cheap machines will always have the blade stay in the bread, whereas this comes out nice, neat and clean, and uh, it is a very nice loaf, which has turned out, and I made also some sourdough bread from Kamut, which I made another video, so you can look at that one as well. And um, we'll come back when it's cool in one hour's time or one and a half hour's time and um, we'll make, we'll slice it and we'll see how it looks like and we'll taste it together. All right, let's come back a bit later. Okay, so now it's the time to do the cutting the bread. So before we cut the bread, I want just to tell you a little bit about the bread knives, because if you actually are serious about eating bread daily and cutting fresh bread, sourdough bread, you really need to get a good bread knife. And I'll show you this, this knife is a <coughs> Victorinox, the Swiss one, which is not actually that expensive. I think it's around 20 pounds. And I've been using this for years and actually it's a very good knife to cut bread. It's very, very th slim. You can actually slice the bread easily and, and straight. But someone donated to our place recently this Japanese, uh, some kind of a layered steel knife. So that's a, amazing. I don't know how much it costs because it was a donation. And so, so this Japanese knife. Uh, I, I've been using that now. So here we are, our Italian French bread. So I don't know how I'll deal with this cutting. Well, let's try it. <laughs> it's a bit of a interesting experience to cut with one hand. So <clears throat> you can see the structure of the bread is really, really nice. It's very soft, and um, and the main thing is it's uh, the, the taste is uh, it's very very. Um, actually, if you have a cheap knife, you won't be able to slice this bread because it's it's so soft and so uh, tender that uh, you need actually sharp, good quality knife. All right, so I'll just make a cup of coffee and then I'll show you what I put on top of the bread and then we can try it again. Okay. All right, so we are having this nice Italian ciabatta white bread, which normally I, I, I normally don't eat white bread, but occasionally I will, I will have a piece. And uh, I made a lovely cup of coffee. And so... I don't know what you put on bread, but I find actually to put on top of bread nice uh, sauerkraut. You know, I, I make myself sauerkraut. I've got a video where you can uh, learn how to make sauerkraut. I mean, there is a masses of jars behind me, and this is a big tub of uh, sauerkraut I've made. And so, you know, you put a little bit of some, you know, cheese spread. I, I, I'm vegan, so I put some vegan, a little bit of vegan spread and some... Uh, sauerkraut on top and it's very very nice obviously you can put peanut butter or tahini and jam and you know homemade marmalade um, or anything else whatever you like but nice fresh bread you know there is nothing else in life you can get better than that you know you just tuck it in and uh, you know Bob's your uncle everything is fine 
and, and your happy, happy bunny. All right, happy Easter and uh, all the best. Enjoy the breads.